because I found out today that a lot of things that we've been knowing for years that people now really don't know about no more. Simply because people don't talk about Christ. They don't talk about uh, everything now is about blessing plans. And you're going to get money. And you're going to get a land. And sooner or later, turn your head, shake your neighbor five times. And when you look up, you're going to get a car. Amen. How many know it don't work like that? Amen. That's not the will of God for our lives. Is God a blesser? Yes, he is. He's a blesser. He will bless you. But what God requires from those that he's going to bless is a life that must be presented by you. Y'all ain't talking. In other words, you can't just expect to live for God any kind of way and think that God is just going to give you whatever it is that you pray for and ask God to do. In other words, you think that God, people think now that God just going to look past all they mess. Amen. He's just going to look past all they, all they lying, all they cheating and stealing and all they backbiting. He's just going to look past all their fornication and adultery and just act like he don't see it and just give them whatever they won't have because of the fact that they all of a sudden they say Lord give it to me but how many know the Bible says it don't actually work that way what you got to realize is that scripture lets us know number one that he does not hear the prayers of the sinner y'all ain't talking the Bible says unless you be a worshiper or a doer of his will and see I found it necessary now for us to continually repeat certain scriptures because people have gotten so far off track that people just um, started making up the Bible as they go. They're trying to fit their life and fit things for themselves uh, that scripture never confirmed neither does it say. The Bible teaches us and lets us know. I told you John 9 and 31 he said, yo ye not that he does not hear a sinner's prayer except, y'all ain't saying that now, that he be a worshiper and a doer of his will. And in other words, it's teaching us that the only way that God is going to hear you when you pray is that you got to make sure that you are in alignment with God uh, and a worshiper and a doer of the will of God. Somebody say, well, what is the will of God? The will of God is the word of God. It's, it's what God conveys over to us because whenever you read the word of God, how many know you're reading the mind of God? When you, when you begin to read what the Bible says, uh, what is happening is that you are finding out how God feels feels and about a situation and, and I'm trying to figure out now how did we get to the place where we think that we don't have to submit to the word but just do anything that we want to and still expect God to bless us somebody say amen uh, because if you look at the scripture in Luke, the Bible teaches us here that the first thing he began to let us know about Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth is that they were two people that were righteous before God. Somebody say righteous. And you got to realize that it's the righteousness of your, it's how you live. It's, it's what gets God's attention. It's the fact that when you give yourself to God and when you meditate on his word and find yourself going against gets the thing that your flesh want to do. Amen. Because how many know sometimes your flesh want to do things that are not in the will of God. Sometimes because of what you're so accustomed to you sometimes just want to do what you want to do. But reality is you don't have a right to do what you want to do. The only right you have is to do what the Lord has given for you to do. That's why the Bible says in Psalms the 34th chapter. He said that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. 34 and 15. He said the eyes of the Lord uh, are upon the righteous and his ears uh, are open unto their cry. Amen. Uh, he letting us understand that God's ears are open to their cries uh, of them that are righteous. Not only that, he's watching you. Touch your name and say he's watching you. Amen. He's looking. He's watching you. Why? Because whenever you make God look good, how many know he gonna make you look good that's why scripture teaches us that the eyes of the Lord run to and fro and it behold the good and the evil God. and he's looking for somebody that he might be 
able to show himself strong through. Amen. And church, we got to realize in the hour that we in that God is looking for people that's willing to stand up against everything else that people might say is all right. Hey, y'all ain't talking now. Because we in areas now where people say it's all right to cuss. Amen. But how many know? You know it ain't right to cuss. Praise the Lord. People say now that it's all right to just sip a little wine for your stomach's sake. Amen. Y'all ain't talking now. People believe now that it's all right. You can smoke a little as long as you just don't let it take over. You know, you just smoke one or two. People believe now that you can lie and cheat and do whatever. Play lotto. Y'all ain't talking to me. And everything that we've been told and taught the scripture teaches us uh, that we're not able to do. People now say that it's all right to do. Uh, and for some reason or another, we've gotten to the place uh, where instead of the church of God standing up and proclaiming the righteousness of God uh, and showing forth the power of God, uh, people are just going along with everybody else. Uh, that's why he told us, and I've been telling y'all for the last two weeks, uh, that he told us to come out from among them uh, and that we must be separated, amen, uh, separate, saith the Lord. Uh, he said, touch not, taste not uh, the unclean thing, amen, because uh, he was teaching us that you got to realize that the world is looking for somebody uh, that they can look to to be an example of what God got the power and the ability to do. Because uh, I don't know about you, but before I got saved, amen, uh, I looked for people that could exemplify a better life than what I was already experiencing. Uh, I look for somebody. You're looking for people to be able to be an example unto you. Uh, because sometimes when you find yourself in certain areas, uh, people are trying to make you feel like everybody is the same way. Uh, everybody does this. Everybody does that. Uh, but how many know God still got some people that are blameless and love God and hate the devil? Y'all ain't talking to me today. Uh, because you know they try to make us feel now that we are not okay because of the fact that we don't go along with everything. Uh, people say you're antisocial. You don't know how y'all ain't talking now. Uh, why? Because I don't want to hang out with you uh, because you're doing things that are ungodly and my Bible said that I ought not even sit in the seat of the scornful. Y'all ain't talking to me. Uh, why? Because I'm trying to separate myself that God can be pleased with me, uh, that he can get the glory out of my life uh, because it takes something to be anointed. Uh, it takes something to have power with God. Uh, it takes something to know that when you pray, uh, that God will come to your rescue. Uh, Y'all ain't talking to me. Uh, and because of the fact that we stand in a place in the hour now, uh, whereby we're separating ourselves, uh, people will try to make you feel like something is wrong. Uh, but can I tell y'all something today? Uh, nothing's wrong with you for living holy. Uh, nothing wrong with you for living right. Uh, if anybody is abnormal uh, it's the people that live in sin uh, because God didn't create us uh, to live a sinful life uh, God did not create us uh, to go against his will uh, but man chose to do that but that's not the way God uh, intended for us to be 